Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. Today is the 15th of July. My name is Marta and I have yet again your daily dose for the latest gaming news. Today I have some rather sad news as EA has officially announced that they have closed the Phenomic Studio, who you probably know as the creator of free-to-play titles Lord of Ultima and Command and Conquer Tiberium Alliances. Of course, it's a German studio. That was founded back in 1997 and was best known for the RTS series Spellforce and was home to about 60 people at its peak. And this was an official statement to Games Industry where this was confirmed. And they did confirm as well as this that they have no plans to move away from free-to-play or strategy games. And I've got a direct quote from them here. As part of EA's realignment in recent weeks, we have announced internally a small adjustment to some development staff to better focus our teams against priority growth areas. The decision to let people go is not something we take lightly and we are working to ensure that impacted employees are treated fairly and with respect for their contributions to EA and with assistance to find other job opportunities. These are hard but essential changes and we as we focus on delivering great games and showing players around the world why to spend their time with us. Now, this is pretty sad news indeed. As I said, this studio has been going since 97 and, of course, was acquired back in 2006 by EA. So they've been going for quite a few years now, even if you only count their time with EA, which obviously you shouldn't. But even if you did, they've been going for quite some time. This is a real shame. Now, I would hope that some of the employees who were working at Phenomic will actually be basically re-employed into another division in EA or perhaps they're just going to get rid of people entirely. There was no mention of exactly what they're going to do. From the wording that they used in that direct quote, it sounds like they're just going to get a basic redundancy package and then some help and assistance finding a new job. But perhaps a few of them, say the really talented ones or the top people or what have you, will be brought into other games or areas of EA because they have, as, as I said, confirm that they will not be moving away from free-to-play or strategy games. So they might think, hey, so-and-so from Phenomic, he, he did a good job with X, we need help with X on this game. Let's go put him on that project. Because that makes perfect sense, right? I mean, as long as we have the money to keep that person on, bring him over. Now, obviously, they don't have the money to keep the studio as is, otherwise we would not be having this conversation. It's a real shame that this has happened, and my heart genuinely goes out to the people who have suffered this loss. It's never a good thing to happen to anyone, let alone your, prof- regardless of your profession, excuse me, and especially when it's something like a game studio, which you pour, you know, your heart and soul into years and years of your life. Since 1997, this has been going, and imagine if you're one of the people who's been there since the beginning, this has got be heartbreaking so my heart really goes out to them and I hope that some of them can find new places in EA or even if they go off and form their own studio or find their own places in other studios I think that they'll probably be okay but it's a tough time at the moment for a lot of smaller companies and a lot of acquiries like say Phenomic and so on EA is obviously going through its own hard times they would have obviously preferred to not have to be closing down and let people go but obviously they have been feeling the pinch as much as anyone lately, given that they're not exactly great PR rep with gamers. So this is a real shame, but I hope that the people at Phenomic can actually find themselves new jobs, new positions, and hey, maybe there'll be an upside and we'll see some new and interesting IP coming out of them now that they're not working for EA. Perhaps they'll go off and do their own little indie games. You know, There's hopefully a good side to this. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, that's me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.